Today we'll be taking a look at the Atom Mini Pro, which is Blackmagic's new addition to the Atom lineup and the big brother to the very popular Atom Mini. If you're not sure what this product is, it is a switching device which allows you to switch between different cameras while live streaming and recording. We're also holding an awesome giveaway that possibly will include one of the items we talk about in this video. So make sure you head over to our Instagram after you finish watching this video. So taking a closer look at the physical design of the Atom Mini Pro, it does look almost identical to the Atom Mini, and it has all the same ports on the back of it. Although on the Pro, you're able to record straight onto a SSD drive just through the USB-C port, and you're also able to get multi-view through the HDMI port. You also have extra buttons on the front of the panel to control both of these features. At the same time Blackmagic released the A10 Mini Pro, they also released an update for both the A10 Mini and Mini Pro, giving you the ability to connect any of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras, both the 6K and the 4K, and control all the settings through their control software. In addition, two other improvements is that you're now able to get a tally light on the camera to know that the camera operator is live. And secondly, you're now able to control all the cameras through your computer and also hit record on each individual camera. By far my favorite thing about the A10 Mini Pro is now you have multi-view, which is great, especially because I've used the A10 Mini before and we had about three cameras in the A10, yet we weren't able to see the actual preview. So sometimes we cut to it and someone's still racking focus or just move their camera. So having multi-view is super helpful. In addition to being able to see all four of your inputs, having preview and program, you also have four other windows. The first one being audio, where you can now see where all of your audio is coming from, even the two mic inputs on the switcher. The second one gives you the status of your SSD, how much storage is left, and whether or not you're recording. The third window allows you to check the status of your live stream. And finally, Media Player 1 allows you to check your slides you've uploaded to the ATEM software. As I mentioned before, the Ada Mini Pro is able to record directly onto a SSD drive at 1080p up to 60 frames per second. In addition, in order to free up your USB-C port, you're able to connect an Ethernet cord straight from the ATEM into your computer. This will allow you to get Wi-Fi as well as start setting up live streaming and control all of your camera settings directly from your computer. On the Pro, you're still able to get all of the great features of the Aiden Mini. For example, through the HDMI, you're able to connect different cameras that are shooting at different frame rates and resolution and condense it down into the same resolution, which gives you a super clean output. Setting up the A10 Mini Pro is pretty simple and you can get up and running within four to five steps. Firstly, I'd recommend downloading the A10 software control app from Blackmagic's website. This will give you access to features such as having a digital version of your switcher, being able to input slides into your feed, being able to control those cameras, and it will also give you the ability to mix your audio as well. Whilst the software is downloading, you can start configuring your ATEM. First things first, plug in the power which comes included in the box, and then start plugging in your inputs. As mentioned before, if you're using a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, you do have a few more features such as being able to control the camera's settings as well as color, and even being able to have a tally light on your camera, both green and red. However, if you are using any other camera with a clean HDMI out, it's still gonna work great. Next up, plug in your monitor of choice, and I can't stress this enough how awesome it is to have multi-view. Finally, you can plug an SSD directly into the USB-C port to start recording your feed. And if you wanted to start live streaming or use the software, all you need to do is plug in an ethernet cable. Wrapping up, if you use multiple cameras and you're looking to switch between them live or even just save time editing later in post, then the A10 Mini Pro is a killer option, especially now with the multi-view and you're able to record directly to an SSD and to control all your settings on your computer, especially if you're using a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. If you're looking for some more information, check out the links in our description. And lastly, head over to our Instagram Instagram where we're running a giveaway at the moment which may or may not include an item from this video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. So as I mentioned before, the SSD drive is able <laughs>